Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to have a look at doing some slime tree farming. But we're not actually going to use, as you can see going around, the Steve Cart's cart. Because it doesn't work. So let's go and have a look at how we can do it. Well yes we're going to use the... <laughs> a drone of course, what else we're going to use. So what we have here is the cleaning program. If you remember from before, basically the cleaning program goes and breaks blocks here and then it will actually pick up items that have been dropped around and put those into an inventory. So all we're going to do is extend this a little bit more. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some more item pieces, item filters to it, here like this. And a, we're going to add two. We're going to, actually going to add one for the leaves, which we'll do first. So we'll search an item, so what we want is some slime... Um, tree sapling I think it's a sapling but I'm gonna hope we can find it quickly enough if not I have to put in saplings oh there we go look nope <laughs> yes here we go the no, doesn't matter which one we can put in we got blue slime purple slime or magma slime we're actually going to do purple slimes so select that one there press escape and then that will be one of those two blocks but instead of doing this um Actually, I think that's wrong. It is wrong. Sorry. Let's do it a different way. What I need to do is uh, leaf blocks. So we'll do. Uh, you can't do at tinkers in here because it doesn't work. You see, you can't search for tinker stuff. What we can do is actually go and get some leaves. Um, so let's change this one. Search for item. Now I think it's leaves. So hopefully we can find the slime leaves in here. Ah, here we go. So here's, some, for example, some green slimy leaves. So we can select those. So we're going to break those. What we're going to do with this one is we're going to match by block. So this one here allows it to break blocks without expecting something to be picked up. Um, the metadata and the damage data, we actually want to turn that off. Off, because it doesn't really matter. But, in fact, I really would like to do it by or dictionary as well. But I don't think you need to in this case. So we'll just select a that so that should do for the first item and then the second item are the blocks it's going to put in here so we'll actually right click this one and we'll search for another item and we'll do the slime blocks i think it's called congealed slime or something like that yes there we go so it doesn't matter which one we pick we can pick green blue or anyone let's pick let's pick orange in this case uh, let's select that one we'll turn off the metadata in fact you can actually use or dictionary on this one so it'll break it by or dictionary here I think that'll work. We'll see. Anyway, we'll see. So that's going to break the two, the leaves and the thing. We can leave this in here. It doesn't matter very much. Uh, because it's beside the Steve Cart's train. Uh, and the Steve Cart's, well, Steve's cart, cart will actually produce pollution if it's burning fuel. So it's actually that will clear away the pollution as well. So the next thing we need to do is we need to place down the blocks. So we've broken the blocks and picked up the bits. So the next thing we do after that is to go and get to the... Um, importer so what we want to do is we want to import a slime block so we put space on here then you can see it so you can type in i think it's called import it is look and we've got this one here so we want to import an item from an inventory here so we can select this what we're going to add this is where i wanted to actually put the slime block on here so we've got an item filter on here like this and we're going to specify the inventory it's going to be the same inventory as this one because we're going to put this the bits we've broken and put them into this chest and we're going to pick up these like that and we're going to right click this and we're going to say we need to search for an item so we need to uh, slime sapling so we most should be able to find slime saplings down here more easily here we go so i can select a blue slime it doesn't matter which one i pick any of those and then we'll just say it's matched by or dictionary here so it doesn't care about any of the other settings so it's going to take that from the inventory and it's going to place this. So now we need to do the, the block placer. So what we want this time is the um, the placer. So we can look for place. Sure enough, it's this one here. So we select this one. And the area we're going to break, basically place is going to be the same areas that, that we've been breaking. So you've got this area here, northwest to northeast. Put it down here like that. And then we're going to place onto this 
these items of course which we've got in here so we're actually going to select here we're actually going to use account in this one so we're only going to select one at a time so, so it just picks up one so now you know you've got one of those in here so we can simply right click this in fact i could actually duplicate this to be absolutely sure in case it's got more than one on here like that and then go back to the uh, basically it weights the weight place now the weight place if i remember right is the same as the inventory like that now what's clever about this particular program well i think is we're using the area here so this variable area is actually made from northeast and southwest so these are actually defined at the time of um starting in fact i should actually be able to use area in here shouldn't i for some reason I haven't I haven't been using it. It's actually a global variable. Oh yes, of course I'm taking the area away. That's right, yes. That, which is calculating these positions from the inventory. Right, that's it. Let's program this joint row. Take it out and see if it works. I'll put this one back in again. This is the placer one. I don't want it to be there. We can actually replace the program in here like that. That was the one that was placing the blocks before. So that's it. I've got it in my hand. It's charging up, of course my chest plate which is being charged up from the aerial interface so what we do now oops i need the remote control for this because on the remote control i've defined the area so what i'm going to do is simply right click this there's actually a slime gene drone here so let's see if this works place it down there and it's going to go up and it's going to start breaking these leaves here as you can see Now the area I've defined is actually quite a large area. Let's just turn back a bit, we can see it better, can't we? And you'll also notice that the Steve Cart's cart didn't break this, even though it's got a, a farming one in here. Or a tree harvesting setup. It's configured for tree harvesting. So you see it's breaking all the blocks now nicely. And of course it's got a magnet on it's actually got two magnets in this particular drone and if you were very observant don't just you can see it's got a sapling in its sort of in its hand so to speak because these two are going to these leaves are going to decay there that one got picked up probably got picked up by the cart because the cart has got a, a cleaner on it which i was been looking for for ages So they're all gone. So now it's come up and it'll break the rest of these blocks here. So actually what it's doing is breaking the blocks from top down. Like that. So it's now finished that. And it'll search the area to see if there's anything else that's got to be broken. And it's a large area. So it takes a while. I haven't got any speed upgrades in this. So now a few seconds later it's going to come along here. Put this into the inventory. It takes a few seconds because I really should put a speed upgrade in it, shouldn't I? <laughs> and the inventory is just here. And when it's finished doing that, it's going to plant them again. Have I got the remote control with me? I'm just going to wait until it actually moves. Because it does move, I promise you. Because it's been running for quite a long time already. Oh, it's actually planted the, it's planted the sapling, look. So now it should go back to the inventory or the weight position. Uh, uh, it says. <laughs> yes, the weight position is one block above the inventory, isn't it? But of course, it's actually scanning this area. Now, let's go. I need to get the remote control out so we can actually see where the area is. There it goes now. It should be back. And he should be placing this stuff into the inventory here. As you can see, the image is hidden by snow. But if we right click this, you see I've already got 20, 20 saplings, a good stack of um, uh, purple slime saplings and balls, and a lot of this congealed slime stuff. So that's working very nicely. It actually picks up other things which have been zapped or broken. In fact, yeah, maybe some pollution caused some, some growth and some flowers or whatever. Uh, it's got some oak wood in here from wherever. I can't remember where I put that. Um, and that's it done so in its hand now it should have one of one of those in there it should really give it a new name so what it's doing is let's go and get the remote i don't have it with me it's actually in the it's in the chest with the um pneumatic craft stuff which is right down the back here
in here. So area has been defined in here. And what's really nice about this, if you right click this now, huge. So I'm doing an area of, basically I'm doing an area of 33 by 33 by 15 high. And you're doubling the, so you basically, the 16 plus 16 plus the block it's on is what it's actually doing. So now we come along here. And what's really smart about this, we could actually change it. So for example, I've actually left my display into, lar into large mode because I'm doing, when, I, when I'm working with the um, programmer, it's a good idea to have your video. Unfortunately, I've got my uh, stats in the wrong place. So let's just fix that because it sometimes bothers me. Just make it large again so you can see things better. So the stats go to the right place now. Um, so what I was going to say is here, we could actually specify an area of, of any size. So for instance, here we actually are here. So if we go now uh, this way, so we, we're taking 275 is that position there. And here is the, what was that one? That's 275. Oh, sorry, I've done it the wrong way around. This must be the Z coordinate. So the Z coordinate is um, 368. And I want to be here. So it's basically 15, isn't it? 15? 368 minus 350, 58 is basically 15. So I would probably have got it as big, as small as I need uh, an area as I need it. But if I want to actually change it, you can do it. Shift right click it, select this button here, and right click this one. And then you could specify another area. So for example, we could create a, another one of these. Let's drag another button on because they cost nothing to put a button on this one. And we'll call this one custom, for example. You may be able to hear the drone going over here. So maybe we don't need to search the high for the custom area. So we could actually put it down as say 14 blocks along here. And in the Z position, we probably don't need so many. Oh, hold on, I think that was a. 14 blocks in the Z position and the Y blocks we can specify say one so it'll do a three by three height so now the Z area is going to be planting it's going to be around about here I suppose so that's five blocks from 265 to 275 so we could then specify this as being right click this again and we we'll specify this one as the X of being five so it's going to do five in each direction of the blocks and that long so it's going to do 29 blocks long so then when i click this here i've got to come out of the designer of course click this here it should come to the custom area it hasn't set it ah because i haven't specified the area have i let's just <laughs> right click this one variable so i need the variable area here like this and then that should work so we can have a custom we have a custom area for the drone And that'll do that. I'm bothered with all this stuff. So now when I come out of here, right click this one, and this time I click it, it's going to make a, an area of five by, basically it's going to be 11 by three by um, 29, isn't it? 28 plus one, yeah, 29. So this will work, this this drone robot will go and do that, or drone will go and clear that area. Of course these slime trees don't actually grow that fast. They do grow in winter. That's one of the things about them. Um, they do grow in winter, but they don't grow very fast. So every once in a while they get some, another one will grow. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm not quite sure where the drone's jumping up and down. I'll have to investigate that. But anyway, next time I would like to do some stuff with Steve Cars. I've never done Steve Cars before, except for this little bit of testing and trial stuff that you can see well you can't see anymore <laughs> that is in front of me so until then bye for now <laughs>